There was a time when it was always summer, when the sun always shined brightly, the breezes were always calm and mild, and life for the animals was peaceful and worry-free. And of all the animals, none was more handsome, and none had a voice more beautiful than Crow. Frog's gonna leap, gator's gonna bite, a gray wolf pack is gonna rule the night. A mountain lion's never been afraid of heights, but it's better when you can fly. Whoa! Hey, that sounds like crow! He's rehearsing. I think he landed. I think he landed. Oh, yo, yo. That guy has got a voice. Shh. Come on. Looks like you're busted! I can't let him smell me like this. Run, fly, flutter, <laughs> go, kiss, go! <laughs> then, one day, winter came to the forest for the very first time. And the lives of the animals would never be the same. My toes. <gasps> yes, yes. Ay, que frío. Uh, hey, yeah. We gotta do something. There is a solution. Before we freeze to death, <sighs> everyone. Yeah, we gotta do something before we freeze to death. There is a solution. Someone must fly past the moon and the sun to where the stars dwell, to the one who creates everything by thinking, and convince him or her to unthink the cold and make it warm for us once again. What about Crow? I mean, who could say no to that amazing voice and those beautiful feathers? And his... why don't you just ask him? Crow? Crow's here? Hey, everybody. <laughs> Look, I can't go on a trip right now. I have rehearsals coming up for my show at the pond. You're playing the pond? I think you dig it. You gonna check it out, right? Yeah, maybe. Oh, I gotta see about my schedule and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. If you're free, come on by. <laughs> I guess that leaves me. Mods can fly. Yeah, but you just fly right into the sun. <laughs> I would, wouldn't I? <laughs> well, not to toot my own horn, but owls are known for their expertise on the wing, even in absolute darkness. Wish me luck. Oh dear, my vertigo. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Well, I guess that leaves you, Crow. Come on, guys. There's plenty of birds that can run your errand. I I've got a show to do. Look, there is not gonna be a show at the pond if we're all frozen solid. Give me a break. I'm an artist, not a messenger boy. I've got rehearsals. I've got my fans to think about. So that's all we are to you, fans. Uh, well. And I thought you were. I thought you were more than just a voice with feathers. Well, but I guess I was wrong. <sighs> Look, it's not like I'm saying it would be hard. So you'll do it? <gasps> so 
the crow began his journey to find the one who creates everything by thinking. Break a leg, crow. Thanks, Luna. This ain't as easy as I thought. But don't really break a leg. Crow, hey, listen, space is no place for a bird. You need to get back down to Earth. <laughs> hey, watch the feathers! Sorry, see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, that's not down. You're going the wrong way, Crow. Wrong way! the place. A couple more flats, girl. Ooh, bird. Oh, bird. I wish Crow was back. Well, I thought he'd be back already. Who knows? Maybe he found someplace warm and we'll never see him again. No. I know he'll do whatever he can. Make any sacrifice to save us. Unless something happened. What if he's in trouble? I will go find out! No, Moth! You won't be able to resist the sun's warm, soothing glow. I can handle the sun. No! Ah! You look at this place. Crow had found the palace of the one who creates everything by thinking, the source of the entire universe. And he could only imagine the majesty of the spirit that lived within. Hello? Wake up down there. <clears throat> the view from the blue sky. It looks so good when you're up high. I remember that tune. It was stuck in my head for weeks. Who are you? I... Uh, I've been sitting here way too long. So, what brings you here, Crow? You don't know? I mean, you are the one yes, who Yes, 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 I know. You want me to unthink the cold. Exactly. So, your friends pick you to be their big hero because of what? Your sweet voice and pretty feathers? Well, I'm more than just a voice with feathers. You better be, for their sake. Look, I I'm enjoying our little chat, but back on Earth, those friends of mine are getting colder. But I can't unthink what's already been thunk. That's a rule I thunk up. Is thunk a word? Your thinking is what got me in this hot mess in the first place. Hot. That's it. Hold on to this branch. Branch? Whoa. Now, watch in amazement as I make it burst into flames. It's hot. You're darn right it's hot. It's fire. Well, don't just stand there. Go, hurry. Whatever you do, you must not let that torch burn out. Let's see what you're really made of. Crow! Crow! Where are you? 
at what the heck is gotten into you animals. But you should never look directly at the sun, and that's I mean right, especially right. you. Don't look, pay no attention. Because I know how attracted you are to my rich and fast You be quiet, mister. So, Bro? you're right. You will not hear me say another word about my inviting golden oil. Would you be quiet? Uh oh! Ay, que rico! No, no, watch it, get, get back! Snap out of it! Oh, <laughs> I found you! What are you doing up here? I thought you might need some help. Help? No, sir. When the one who creates everything by thinking heard my song, she stopped her thinking and gave me this amazing gift of fire. Look at it. Can you feel it? It's warm. Whoa. <laughs> and so, the show will go on. Ow, my feathers, Ooh, my feathers. Ooh. Oh no, the fire, it's gone. I failed. I failed everyone. You're wrong, Crow. You will not give up. You will do whatever you can, make any sacrifice to save us. You really think that? No, that's what Skunk said. I figured you found some place warm and were never coming back. But Skunk, she believes in you. She does? All right, Crow. Let's see what you're really made of. Yeah, well, whatever it is, it's flammable. Crow! No! Come back! No, 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 don't do it, Crow! Your it's feathers! Not, are you crazy? Come on! Hey! My eye! Uh, I am so old. Look! Myself again, turtles back! Yeah, baby! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> hey, race you home! I win! Hey, everybody! Moth, you're okay! I did not fly into the sun! And you should have seen Crow! Oh, oh, oh he was like a. Wait, where did he go? It's called <coughs> fire. Crow? Are you okay? Skunk, is that you? Crow, I'm so sorry. It's okay. <coughs> you can't help it. I'm not talking about that. I, I like your smell. It's kind of <clears throat> earthy, you know, in a good way. Really? <laughs> I, sh I should be the one to apologize. I, I've been a real jerk. Acting like I was better. Better than you and better than everyone. Well, looks like I got what I deserved. You're not gonna stop singing, right? I used to have perfect pitch. Nobody's perfect. Okay, Crow. Now, let's see what you're really made of. Oh, oh what's happening? Oh. Crow, your feathers, look. 
Whoa, my colors. They've been in there all along. The view from the blue sky. It looks so good when you're up high. The blues come round, they won't get me down. I can make it. <coughs> what do you think? I actually like your new voice. It's kind of earthy. Yeah, you know, in a good way. <laughs> Bravo, maestro! <laughs> hey, what'd you stop? <clears throat> the view from the blue sky. It looks so good when you're up high. The blues come round, they won't get me down. I can make my escape. I'm not sly like a fox, don't bite like a flea. A grizzly would never run away from me. But think of all the things they could never see. It's better when you can fly. Oh, the view from the blue sky. It looks so good when you're up high. The blues come around, they won't get me down. I can make my escape. Oh, everybody sings. But not like me, the air's much better here above the trees. Look up in the sky, I'm a sight to see. It's better when you can fly. Hey, the view from the blue sky. It looks so good when you're up high. Oh, by the way, I'm down, won't you come around? Help me make my escape. No matter how high a crow can go, there's gonna come a time when he's brought down low. I've hit rock bottom and I just don't know. Oh, if it's better when you can fly. I'm excited to share my new animated short film with you, Crow the Legend. Inspired by a Native American legend, it's the origin story of the crow, who once had beautiful plumage and a clear singing voice, and became known today for its black feathers and calling voice. I voiced the part of Crow and wrote an original song for this movie. The story is about inclusion, it's about self-sacrifice for the community, and how we are all connected. We. Baobab Studios, Native Americans in Philanthropy, and my studio, Get Lifted Films, felt that these themes are universal and perhaps especially relevant today. One of the cast and our co-producer, Sarah Eagleheart, taught us on this journey the little-known history of many Native American youth being forced into re-education camps where they were forbidden to tell their stories like this whose roots are indigenous to this continent. We feel it's important to share this beautiful story with the world. I was excited to share it with other amazing talent, including Oprah, Constance Wu, Diego Luna, Liza Koshi, Ty Sheridan, and Native American rights crusaders, Sarah Eagleheart and Randy Edmonds. As my character Crow says in the movie, check it out. I hope you'll dig it. 